I was so dead set on not breaking anything. Oh, How did that happen? All right, good morning guys. It's day two of the Snowden trip and to kick the day off right, we just got a call for a search and rescue. Apparently the state uh, DNR has a snow cat that grooms the trails up here and they lost contact with him last night and haven't heard from him all night and even this morning. So they were calling out the local search and rescue and they called and asked us if we could do it. And obviously we're right here in the neighborhood so it works out perfectly. So Cletus and I, Gonna jump in the Blackhawk and fly over to Garden City, pick up one of the search and rescue guys, and then go fly the route where the snow cat was supposed to be. So, hopefully, we can find him quickly and then get back to the winter fun. They don't know where this guy is still. Now there's just the trail system that he's grooming and nobody's heard from him. So Brian, tell me the story, what's going on? Uh, all I know is the DNR is called and they put uh, a snowcat out last night to groom the trail from Hardware Ranch. The loop that direction, there's multiple across the state and they lost communications and contact with him and he's not on the correct trail, and they don't have communications, what I've heard. They're out looking for them from snow machines on both sides. Uh, DNR is on the ground. Do they have a way of telling us that they found them? Yeah, I've got contact with them. I'm monitoring my cell phone. I haven't heard nothing in uh, Sheriff's Department radio I got. All right. What color is this uh, snow cat? Should be gray. Do they have a way of telling us that they found him? Yeah, I've got contact with them. I'm monitoring my cell phone. I haven't heard nothing in uh, Sheriff's Department radio I got. Alright. Do you think they would have gone to where he started and just followed it? Well, I think he started over by the cabin. Over by us. Oh, okay. Alright, so where am I supposed to be looking? I think the trail runs down through here. Wow. Right here is where the, the trail system starts. You go back over to Monty. There's a snow cat right, right down there. It's gray. Brian, is that them? Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Ma'am? I mean, there's a bunch of people with them. Just want to make sure that that's the right machine. They just said it. They found them 10 minutes ago. Right. Oh, really? All right, head back. Yeah, that's exact cat. They just got them out. <laughs> Was Technic doc? Technically, we found it. Yeah. Uh, counts. <laughs> Put it on the lid. Never hurts to put some time on the helicopter. Nah. All right, so search and rescue mission was a success. Even though they found him about 10 minutes before we got to him, we were able to Basically, get to the we location. Got to fly for fun. Yeah, we got to fly for fun. We confirmed that he was okay, everybody's safe, and we did our good deed for the day. And now it's time to break some stuff. All right? We'll just have fun. One of the above. Sweet. <laughs> I was freezing. Ah oh, man, flies a lot faster at this altitude. I gotta do that one again. Oh yeah, dude. Dial in for the snow. <laughs> so, Horizon Hobby EC1500. Check the cargo door. Oh yeah. So oh, we can already. drop snowballs. <laughs> Elevator up, rudder. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we're dialed, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. You think I could, you could hold me on a sled or a ski? It might, dude. <laughs> How frail you are, Sick. I think it probably could. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go find some powder, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, dude, I'm gonna do some flying dude, for the boys. Remote? Probably. Not fall, good. fall out a little bit. We got some icing going on on the EC1500. No big deal. No, the weight is really the problem. And plus, the aerodynamics get pretty jazzed up when you get yeah. frost on there, you know? Dude, it's deep. Well, if I know Garrett, it's just gonna go perfect. It doesn't sink in at all. Dude, I got this uh, Horizon Hobby AC130 that I had Hans pick up for me. So I can rip it while we're here at the cabin. And uh, we're ready to rip it. It's got skis on it. Are we good, Roman? So. Oh, look here at that, goes. Goes. Dude, it's perfect. Oh! oh. Oh, okay, oh, I like the sand car. Oh, right, right Maybe. weight. Gary, did you check the weight and balance, bro? Wait, you just sunk her down a little bit. I'll pick her up. We're losing runway fast. <laughs> Ready? It, just dude. pull this. Just send More it. speed, just dude. Send it. Send it. Oh, wow. Oh. That's performance right there. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> There's just snow falling off of it. Oh, what a unit. <laughs> I mean, this is a great plane, George. Dude, let me see a, a low send one ride. You want a low and slow? Or just... I want a touch and go on the snow. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay, hold on, that's a little fast. That's a little fast. Much slower here. Yeah, hold on, hold on. We're coming the other way. A little touch and bop, a little doodle touch and bop. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> This is a touch and snow. Uh, oh, oh no! Okay, hey. Oh wait, you're uh dude, you know what it is? I think ski. my ski was pointed down. Yeah, it's pointed down. Sucked in some there you go. Oh! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, bro! oh no! The prop's coming off, dude. I didn't tighten it tight enough. No. <laughs> okay, so we have the screw. Yeah. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. I've heard of OnStar. It's like HandStar, but better. Oh, wait, it's like OnStar, but it's HandStar. There's the guy hand. That's the guy that makes everything happen. See that? That's my guess. That's probably an 11 I just crunched it to. Probably took him 10 seconds to go get that. Look at that. Here we go. Now we're good. Just right. Oh. Oh, it's butter now. It's butter Dude, now. Touching snow incoming. Uh, oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, wait a second. This might be a nice little runway for us. Look at that! Wow! Look at that, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Right, Still I'm perfect. Ready? I'm gonna race it. Oh. <laughs> Never it's gonna be three, two, one, go. Pull on you. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, George Flinch, Roman did not. <laughs> well, you gave me a heads up, bro. <laughs> I'm afraid him hit me in the back of the head. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Nice, dude. <laughs> did you say you needed a question mark? Right? All right, it is time to build a track. I got a couple jumps going here. Probably gonna build kind of a nice oval racetrack and uh, throw in eight to ten jumps, tabletops, doubles, step ups, using the Piston Bowley Park Pro, which as you guys know was provided so generously by Jim and the crew down at Peterson Equipment and Logan. Guys, snowcats are getting more and more popular every day. So if you're in the market for one, whether it be old, new, anything in between, Peterson Equipment. Got a link in the video description. These guys are legit, the best of the best. Thank you.
lunch. We have all your finest choices available, hot and ready. Enjoy. that clump of trees around this clump of trees two laps two laps <laughs> Good news is the hill is sick. The bad news is there's no way out the bottom. You already went down there to check? Yeah. All right, so uh, my mission for the next few hours is to uh, build a teepee for Whistling Diesel. They've got a crazy idea. I definitely think it's gonna be one that's gonna be, go very viral for them, which is cool. Um, so the plan is we're gonna pull out a bunch of these dead trees. These trees are dead. We're not pulling out trees that are still living. They're dead trees. Gonna drag them out. All right, uh, so last night we brought the snow cats out and we built a tubing run that's about a thousand feet long. Top of the hill above the cabin, all the way down to the meadow, and we pushed up these big bumpers to keep the tubes in. We just did the maiden voyage with Caleb and Rob. It's really fast, but really like awesome. I was afraid they're gonna fly over the edges. No, it was good. So now we're uh, gonna grab Joe and one more tuber and start doing some runs down it. It's really fun though. It's like it works really well. We're gonna send it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to watch the first one. It was a lot of fun. I'll do that again. Roll man, let's go. <laughs> Molly is our first casualty on the sledding hill. <laughs> you alright Molly? That was awesome. <laughs> alright, round two, here we go. That was awesome! Sleds fell out of the back, landed right in the middle of the trail, and he hit it head on with both of his hands. Oh. Yeah, it jacked up his hand. Anybody else want to go? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was my question. Wait, how sketchy is this? We're like a mile up top of the hill. No, you're fine. It's a long way. You're fine. the word. 
worst decision of my entire day. <laughs> Where'd your... Where'd he go? I don't know. I, I look back and he was just tumbling. <laughs> that was such a bad idea. Although, goggles would only save about half my area here. Dude, that was terrifying. <laughs> I crashed. I didn't like that part. That snow in my eyes and my nose. It was fun. It was fun. Mike, you want it? Yeah. Where's your goggles? They're uh, just up in the cabin. Whoa! That was the most terrifying thing I've ever done. Wait, Wait, 90 degrees. Yeah, it went. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm okay because today I just did that perfect reenactment of it. Dude, that was awesome. That was amazing. Cletus and I have um, been friends for a while now, and we have an arrangement. And the arrangement is what's mine is his, and what's his is mine. No questions asked. Even though he's really concerned about me breaking his uh, snow rail. I'm actually not. He knows the rules are when I say I want to drive, I drive. And when he asks me to drive something, I let him fly my Blackhawk. Hawk. Every time he comes Black in town, Hawk, I give so him a helicopter. Like, <laughs> yeah, I so, can't argue with yeah. to drive my, you know little invention. I mean, you lend me a Black Hawk, I really can't. I mean, I built it for I you. Say. Yeah, so. you built it too, so it's like. Yeah, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna baby have fun. it. I'm gonna have fun. You don't I wanna go? I'm gonna baby it and take really good care of it. You don't wanna ride with me? No, I don't, actually. <laughs> There's so much snow that flies. Yeah. It's just, I, got, I haven't even seen it from the outside. I wanna oh, go. good, yeah, that's a good call. Dibs on the snow cat. <laughs> wasn't even four. How did you set me up? <laughs> I just did the same thing in front of you. And then why did it not do it to you? It's the way you press the gas pedal. That's not true. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get that on those big jobs. <laughs> How did that happen? These things have a horsepower rating. Well, yes, we found it. <laughs> was your track, it was your track just going around and grabbing the snow and continually driving? I don't know what happened. All those that are shocked, raise your hand. No one? I'm shocked because Cletus just did it three times. I'm not shocked at all. I'm I just want to say I'm not shocked at all. Hold that that, that, broke the track. that is absurd. I got set up. I want to point one thing out. Oh, wait, you did a high speed flyby on a parked Blackhawk. I thought we talked Black about yeah, not. You went did I hit the a blade. rock? I had Dude, you, I thought you hit the bus. Just you so we're clear, uh, the stuff Sparks Motors built did not fail. I just want to point that out real quick. <laughs> See this right here? See that? 
you guys. I wasn't even pushing that hard. That See this? See the on the chip going over. We're still good. <laughs> that is absurd. The fail point. That'll buff out. It's fine. Just straighten up. Oh, it'll straighten right out. Yeah. I got a little so, mini sledge in my truck. So do you fly home tonight then, or when do you fly home? Hey, listen. There's plenty of toys here for me to ride. I'm not. I don't understand. I how got that. a Ranger up there. If you're really bored. <laughs> I mean, really, what else is I gonna do? Is it ride it down the trails? It's like I, I got all I did down. You didn't really. Yeah. Now he owes me brand new handrail. I was so, I was so dead set on not breaking anything. I think it was an answer from heaven because literally you went under your I, wing or the blades of the black hole. Look, look at the look at the trench. Like look at the trench. Look at the trench. Hey, who wants to go tubing? Over there. Walking over, right? walking over. Oh. Good one. Here we go. I've never seen it happen. That's wild. How did that not? <laughs> Cody knew. Cody, you were right. It sucks the air out. Well, we got no fireball. Yeah.